Okay, this just blew my mind. There's a realistic way we could see an alien planet up close within a century. It's called solar gravitational lensing, and before I explain how it works, let me just give you some context on how absurdly hard spotting exoplanets actually is. Take the Earth, for example. It's a million times smaller than a sun, and 10 billion times less bright. It's like looking at a stadium floodlight from 100 kilometers away, and then trying to spot a firefly passing by. That is what we're trying to do here. With that being said, here's how it can be done. It's a thing called gravitational lensing, and it's actually something that astronomers use to study the universe. According Einstein's general relativity, extremely massive objects like stars, galaxies, or black holes bend the light of stuff that's behind them, forming a sort of natural magnifying lens in space. And in rare cases, if the alignment is just right, that bending forms into a perfectly circular shape, and this is called an Einstein ring. Now here's where it gets fun. We can use this effect with our own star. Our sun is massive enough that from the right distance, it can form an Einstein ring. It can be a telescope that's unlike anything we've ever built. It can be our own space magnifier. If we were to position a telescope just right, we could actually see the surface of an alien planet. We can see continents, oceans, or even cities. That's a stretch, of course. The intelligent life is very far away, but you get the point. It is, however, much easier said than done. For this method to work, a spacecraft needs to be positioned at least 80 billion kilometers away from the sun. That's four times farther than the farthest object in space, which, by the way, took 40 years to get there. This is pretty much the biggest hurdle. It's just too far away, and although our propulsion technologies have gotten much better than when Voyager was launched, it's still not good enough. We are making a lot of progress, though, and a mission to the SGL might happen in the next few decades if we're lucky.